Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So the wife's got me on another project. This time it's a towel rack for our shower area in the master bedroom. The shower area has an extra wall in it, so it's a little bit smaller and there's not a lot of wall space for hanging towels. So I grabbed some teak and I'll show you that in a minute. And we're gonna build this. So it's not a very complicated rack. It's it's about 70 inches tall, give or take. I may trim off for the baseboard, I'm not sure yet. I may round the tops, I'm not sure yet. We'll get all that figured out. Um, but it'll hang two towels over under and it has to fit behind a door. So it's only gonna be three inches deep total. Uh, the backs will be, the mounting strips will be notched in in the back. Um, and then the towel holders themselves will be mortise and tenon in or I may opt for simplicity and go to dominoes. We shall see. So anyways, here's the lumber. So the lumber is a full four quarter um, teak. Yeah, it's hard to see the grain because it's all rough cut right now. Um, but we get that trimmed down and, and get it get the pieces milled a bit, you'll be able to see a bit. So we're going to start with breaking down lumber. So you notice I didn't use the joiner when I milled this stuff up. I was very fortunate this lumber was extremely flat. So I was able to just skip plane it and then clean it up at the table saw. And man, I mean, it is just, it's dead on. So there's no reason to, to add an extra step or remove more material when I don't have to. So uh, these rails are, are pretty much finished other than sanding and, and getting the notches in them. For, for the cross pieces. So that's what we're gonna do next. Um, I milled up that piece at the same time I milled these up. So I'm gonna cut those down to a rough length and then start laying out for where they go in the rack. Okay, so I've marked out where my tenons go and I've marked center and I've come up a half inch. I want just a half inch arc in there. So I'm going to set that up on my lines. And get it drawn out. Okay, so actually before I cut those arches out, I'm going to come here back to the table saw and I'm going to get the tenons cut. I've set a stop block at a half an inch, which is what my tenons are going to be. And I'm just going to nibble that away and I'll clean it up later. My blade height is set at a quarter of an inch and we'll do that all the way around.
Okay, I've gone back to the drawing, just getting my measurements. Um, it's got these two pieces set together, and I'm just laying out for both the, the mortises that we have to cut to take the actual towel racks, and then I'm also going to lay out for the actual notches in the back. Okay, so I've got my dado stack set up, and we're just going to hog out this material. And I've also set up a scrap block here so I don't get anything pinched in the fence. So we're just going to hog this material out and we're going to sneak up on it until it's a perfect fit. So I'm creating a router template here to cut all those mortises. Since I got four of them and all my tenons are the same size, this just seemed like the best way to go. And I don't know whether I'll round over these tenons or if I'll square off the mortises, but we'll figure that out when we get there. And I'll center these up. I'll put side slats on it. So we'll just lay it on each one, clamp it in place, route it out, and go for it. There we go, one down, three to go. Okay, the dry fit is just great. I'm super happy with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these rails to final length. Then I'm gonna glue this up, make sure it's square for the night, and I'm just gonna leave it sit overnight. And I'll install these brackets tomorrow. And I'm gonna actually drive a screw in those. So that'll go fairly quickly. And then we're off to sanding and finish. I'm using epoxy this time, primarily because this is such an oily wood. I just think it, and being though it goes in a bathroom, I just think it'll hold up better. I could be completely wrong, but I'm going to hedge my bets. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot to turn the audio on in the camera, so I'll just show you where we're at. Um, I didn't have, when I did the dry fit, I didn't have enough clearance between the towel bar and the mounting bracket. So, in hindsight, I wish I would have moved this mounting bracket down an inch or two, but it is what it is, that's where I'm at. So, I went ahead and I just notched this out. This would be plenty strong to mount to the wall for a couple of towels anyway, so that's not really an issue. I went ahead and pilot drilled some holes and used epoxy again and went ahead and mounted those up. So next we'll just flip this thing over and start getting all the sanding done and get it ready for finish. Okay, so I grabbed one of my old templates which had a nice round curve to it. I liked it for this and I'm just going to go ahead and round off the tops and the bottoms of each one. And, and get them sanded clean. Okay, so basic construction is complete. I'm just going to take the time now to, to break all of these edges, clean up any epoxy, squeeze out, make sure all my marks are gone, just a final sand. And then, I'm not gonna put it on camera, but I'm gonna wipe this whole thing down with lacquer first before I go to finish. The reason being is this is such an oily wood and that gives me my best chances for the finish to do what it's supposed to do. So, uh, I'll see y'all in a couple hours. I'm gonna get to sanding. 
Okay, so everything has been thoroughly cleaned with lacquer thinner. It's had plenty of time to dry. And it's time to go with the finish. And I'm going to go with general finish as salad bowl finish on this. Um, probably three or four coats. But I'll show you guys when we're done. All right, well, there's the finished uh, towel rack. Uh, I just got to get it installed. Uh, I haven't drilled any holes in the mounting brackets yet because I need to locate the studs. So that'll determine where those holes go and I'll just do those in the bathroom. So next picture you'll see is it physically installed in the bathroom. Well, there it is guys, all installed. I know it's a little tight in here, but just doing the best I can. Turned out great. The wife loves it. It works well. So that should do the trick. Until next time, guys. Take care.